The opening ceremony is all about inspiration and there's no doubt that the athletes who are coming here to compete in Loughborough at the school games will be full of inspiration for an amazing summer of, of sport for all the home countries, whether that be uh, the World Athletics Championships or the wonderful women's performances across cricket, hockey, um, rugby and of course football. Um, so they'll come inspired, but the opening ceremony is designed to replicate what the athletes will experience at a major multi-sport event, Commonwealth Games, Olympic or Paralympic Games. And along with things like accreditation, uh, the athletes' village that they, they live in and a, a lot of the other experiences that happen behind the scenes, the opening ceremony will give them a taste of what it's like to compete at the highest level. It will get them in the mood, it will fire them up and we hope that they will uh, go on to do their very best on the field of play. Behind the scenes at the school games is where it all happens unbelievably. There's lots of action on the pitch, but in the Athletes' Village and the Athlete Experience programme is where we're trying to equip the next generation of British athletes with all the knowledge, insight and right values they will need in their future. So whether that's learning how to protect their accreditation, uh, understanding about anti-doping and going through mock drug tests, or sleeping and eating alongside literally thousands of competitors from different sports. Everything we do at the Games is our duty of care to make sure the athletes go away having made any mistakes they're going to make. Uh, so when they go to their first multi-sport event, Commonwealth, Olympic or Paralympic Games, uh, they compete at their very best. The School Games doesn't just exist here in this multi-sport finals uh, in Loughborough this weekend. It's a huge programme that involves literally millions of young people taking part in inter-school competition and county festivals throughout the year. So it is about inspiring our next generation of British talent, but also about nurturing young people's love of sport and enjoyment of competition. And we really need it because we know as a nation we're getting more and more sedentary. We know that um, only a fifth of children are getting the recommended amount of daily physical activity. So encouraging them to participate and, and enjoy competition is hugely, hugely important. And when schools return um, in just a few days' time, particularly at primary school, there's never been a better time uh, to inspire young people and get them engaged. The government's PE and school sport primary premium is there to help young people get more and varied access to PE and sport, but importantly, we believe at the Youth Sport Trust that every child has a right to high quality physical education delivered by trained teachers. The School Games is really focused on helping get more young women and girls involved in sport. So it's got a great heritage of launching the careers of many of our most successful British athletes, which is great, but there is still lots more for us to do. So we know by age 16, only a half of girls are still regularly playing sport, which is against three quarters of boys. So I just hope that this amazing summer when we've had such great success in rugby, cricket, uh, football um, and hockey, that there is something here for everyone and we can inspire every young girl uh, to want to take part in sport and importantly for those with talent to know they can go all the way.